What's going on, guys? The Inhuman Beatdown, and I'm back with more Fate Grand Order. So, uh, before we get into a long block of fucking episodes, time for a little What You Missed. And, uh, we got some interesting additions this time around. Uh, including my first time for, well, not first time, first, uh, manner of doing a thing. Which basically means that, uh, well, we get to see how I handle the name reveal servants. So, Let's begin! So, the first on our list is Suzuka Gozen, who I did in fact pull from the Triple C event, even though she is evergreen. She's also currently, uh... <laughs> she is also currently 4th Ascension, completing her Max Ascension, having her card... <clears throat> uh, start out like this go to her typical look from Foxtail, to whatever the hell that is, looking like Matahari, Matahari dressed her, to that, I guess, yeah. She is Divine Power B, Mystic Eyes B+, plus, Blessing of Talent C, Magic Resistance A, Writing Skill B, Divinity A, Seal of Oni Subjugation B. Oh, that's, uh, that's for Onigashima, ignore that. Demonic Sun Shower, B+, Anti-Army, deal heavy damage to all enemies, increase your critical strength, and that's it, yeah. I keep her in her second look, because I I don't particularly like any of the other, any of her forms, and this one is just her look from Foxtail, so why not? It's like, this one just looks too plain, this one is way too overdramatic, Foxtail. I don't particularly like it either, but, eh. Anyways, a court dancer said to have worked lo alongside Sakanoe no Tamoramaro, hunting Oni from their stronghold of Mount Suzuka. Because of her beauty and strength, she was rumored to be both a celestial maiden and an Oni. In truth, she is the beloved daughter of the demon king of the fourth heaven sent on a mission to the human world. Her her orders were to make a Japan were to make Japan a land of demons, but she felt causing conflict for mere humans was beneath her. Instead, she went on countless adventures, but her tale of romance came to an abrupt end when her uh, abrupt end with her death at the hands of her own lover, Sakanoe no Tamora Maru. Maru. Truly, she is the heavenly princess of tragic love. In search of ultimate beauty, she concluded uh, that the latest and greatest look was. High school girl style, duh. A shrine maiden was a good opinion too, but like nothing says love like a high school girl. Um, young lady, are you sure that's what you want? Strength D, agility A, luck B, endurance D, magic power A, noble phantasm E X. 164 centimeters, 51 kilograms. Suzuka no Soshi, Tamora, Sandai, Ki, and others. Japan, neutral evil, female. Naturally, the fox ears are included in the height. An intelligent girl who wholeheartedly plays the role of a selfish, selfish simple-minded, and trendy high school girl. Her original personality, though, is the complete opposite. She is a thoughtful, down-to-earth, and dignified princess. As a demon of the heavens, she does have a merciless side, but she is both earnest and prideful in her role and duty. On the flip side, her dignified personality and intellect have left her depressed by her villainous roots as the daughter of an oni, which created a sense of self-loathing in her, as well as making her something of a recluse. She is like a high school class president, gifted with both intelligence and beauty, but also a certain melancholy. Her high school girl facade covers up most of her true self. It's kind of depressing that uh, then we'll never see like the true her. Ugh. Demonic Sun Shower, rank B+, anti-army, 1 to 40, 1 to 40 what? A question I will continue to ask forever. 250 uh, targets. Tenkayame. Its proper name is Monju Chiken Daitorun. Her beloved sword, Daitorun, possesses the divine power to, spear, to split into a maximum of 250 swords and rain down mercilessly upon her enemies. In life, she could combine her own sword with its counterpart, her husband's sword, Sohei Amaru, to create a storm of 500 swords. Now her favorite hairpin takes the place of Shohei Amaru. The hairpin touches Daitorun as it hovers in the sky, triggers the Tenkayame. It's not the most accurate attack, but when her skill, Blessings of Talent, is active, active she gains much more ex exact control, becoming able to perform feats such as making swords rain all around her without harming herself. 
implying she can normally harm herself if she doesn't activate that. Divine Power B. A. A godly power that skill allows one to freely, freely manipulate objects. But since she has manifested as a servant, its rank is lower and is only effective on her personal possessions. Mystic Guys B+, a skill that causes men to fall hopelessly and madly in love with Suzuka Gozen whenever they lock eyes with her, can be evaded with a magic resistance skill. Divinity A determines whether or not one has divine alignment. As a daughter of the Demon King of the Fourth Heaven, Suzuka Gozen possesses a high level of divinity. Blessings of Talent C, a skill that would normally be a noble phantasm by equipping the Shotorun, a sword said to have been forged by the Bodhisattva of Wisdom. Her intelligence is greatly increased. Her once sloppy swordsmanship becomes refined, and her grasp of tactics expands greatly. In addition, this skill increases the performance of the Demonic Sun Shower and allows the use of Sanzen Daisen, Daisen Sekai. It may sound like a pretty overpowered skill, but since it requires more thinking than necessary, Suzuka goes and lapses into a temporary state of self-loathing because she plays a high school girl who lives an incompetent life. That's why Suzuka goes and does not proactively use this skill. That doesn't really make sense, but okay. I get that the idea is that she's trying to play dumb so that she doesn't go into a mental state of self-loathing, but how does thinking smarter make her go into self-loathing because she drops the act that's not how that works unless it's an it, unless it's a state of hypnosis or some shit but they don't say that so mm. sanzen daisen sekai ex a skill that would normally be a noble phantasm this skill represents uh Trichilocosum, a concept that explains the Buddhist cosmology and understanding of the multiverse. When the moving light reflects upon Suska Gozen's beloved sword, Kinmai Orun, the Sanzen Daisen Sekai appears. Excuse me. Various worlds and even parallel worlds can be created within the sword and be witnessed there. The meaning behind all this is something that Suska goes and never speaks about. It's used for a long if used for a long period of time, her rights as a heroic spirit are stripped away. Why? I'm gonna assume something this is maybe explained in her extra material or something, but I I don't know. It just uh that just what's the point of giving characters super overpowered moves if it basically just kills them in the process? I get that's kind of like the balance of power and skill, but, I mean, we have characters who have access to tremendous amounts of powers, but they never fucking use it. For adequately no explained reason. Or, in this case, she has an incredible power that basically gets rid of her right to become a servant, but we don't know why. It just does. I don't know, that's really weird. Anyways... Of course. You know, I can't stand your speech and everything you stand for, but at least you are very quick on talking. で、あれ恥じろうだっけ mind, you talk just as much as every other girl. やさしいし、無理なこと言わないし。did she suddenly just forget about the thing about causing problems for humans? I don't know, that just sounds weird. 
私の JK 磨きの相手に最良ってことじゃんつまりマスターと私はぴったりのコンビってわけまだまだ恋には遠いけどサーバントとして全力でマスターの権利になってやろうじゃん Goes and I couldn't bring myself to be with you even if I wanted to because frankly your speech pattern makes me want to kill myself. Alright, let's move on to a different character who makes me want to kill myself for an entirely different reason. Oh, baby, how the mighty have fallen. Once I held high respect for you in the worlds of Triple C, and then FGO, like many other characters, ruined you for me. <sighs> Anyways, like any welfare, her outfit, her、uh, thing doesn't change, neither does her costume. She is final ascended, though. She has Do Domina Cornum D, Aria Posillum C, Self Modification EX, Magic Resistance B, Item Construction A, Territory Creation A, and CCC. Deal significant damage to a single enemy, decrease to buff resistance for a single enemy, increase NP gauge for all allies. Yay. Alright, again. Load. Sprite doesn't change. A special case that arose within the Moon Cell Automaton. Originally a high grade AI created to monitor the Master's health, a bug in the system caused her to go out of control. As a cancer of the digital world, she rules the far side of the Moon. She is the digital demoness who interfered with Seraph's Holy Grail War. While she forced the participants of the Holy Grail War to abide by the rules, she herself, being the illegal meddler that she is, broke all the rules. While she doesn't bat an eye at the notion of destroying the world, she commits herself to being the best. Precocious little Kohai to her senpai, master, wrapping them around her little finger, a devilish heroine. Prim and proper battles are so boring, don't you think? I want to see everyone suffer even more. At first blush, her action and personality parameters seem completely out of whack, but that's just BB for you. See, this is what I'm talking about. This description does not sound like any, doesn't sound anything like BB from Triple C. It sounds like her on the surface level. But once you play the Triple C route and get to understand why she's doing everything and just why she got fucked up in the first place, it starts to make a lot more sense. This is why I believe this is.、Uh, th her personality got warped by this being Seraph's recorded idea of what BB is, not what she actually was. That's my thought, anyways, until someone proves me otherwise. Strength E, Agility D, Luck E, X, Endurance C, Magic Power A, Noble Phantasm A. 156 centimeters, 46 kilograms, fade extra triple C, seraph, chaotic good, female. I actually wanted to be a ruler, but I changed my mind. It'd be like being a game master who's tied down by rules. That would make me a mere machine. In the name of love, BB is gritting her teeth so humanity can suffer. Her words are wicked and spirited, and even if she fumbles her speech or mannerisms, she keeps on plowing ahead. She is the girl pulling all the strings from behind the scenes. Normally, she is a timid girl who seldom takes center stage, but she becomes intensely active for the sake of the one she loves. She enthusiastically plays the role of villain, but since she doesn't really have any knowledge or experience of such things, she can't help but mess up her line sometimes. She is aggressive because she has a latent tendency towards sadism. This is the source of her little devil persona. In addition, she is the type of girl who holds back everything until all her built up frustrations explode at once. So when that happens, she demonstrates horrifying ultra sadistic behavior. While she is playing the bad guy, she is on a high, saying things like, This is super fun. But once she's all done and reflects on her behavior afterwards, when she's done, she holds her head in agony. Although she was the one who created the low ranking AIs, the alter egos, to be her minions to help out in her work, she has terrible relations with them. There's a reason for that. The alter egos are not simply a copy of BB's personality, but rather AIs that were created based on her personality. This means that each of them have very different opinions from their source material, BB. That is why Melt, Lilith, and Passion Lip are not avatars, but alter egos. Thank you for stating the fucking obvious. And again, with the her, like, basically, it makes it sound like she's trying to play a role here, not really trying to be evil, but it just turns out that way. 
Again, this comes to be a problem when I don't actually see that in the game. I never once noticed her act like that. She was just constantly a bitch, at least in here. So, I don't know. That's just weird. All right, CCC, rank A, anti-personnel, 1 to 10 range, maximum targets, 1, Cursed Cupid Cleanser. BB once wielded a noble phantasm called the Cursed Cutting Crater, Spiritron Virtual Trap, but I use that thing way too much and I'm sick of it. The theme for this event is cute and cu curing. Oh, but just because I'm on everyone's side this time around, I'm not taking back the curse section. BB's curse is eternal. And that's pretty much how she just made up a bunch of junk for a new move. She draws out the power of the moon cell to change into an invincible nurse's outfit. From there, she pulls out mal malignant, mal no, malignant information from within her void space and overwrites the surrounding channels. Common recognition memory into a chaotic, chaotic mess. She rolls out the reality marble BB channel travel version and beats everything into a melting pot of chaos. At least that's what she claims, but really she just changes into nurse BB and pokes the enemy with a syringe. All right. Domina Cornum EX to D. A super cheating skill on par to a god's authority. Domina, Domina Cornum, or Ten Crowns, prefer to the, refer to the Ten Evil Kings, while the Seven Hills point to the loathsome evil city. In simple terms, it's a skill that can make any injury or event outcome as, uh, event outcome as if it had not happened. As long as she has this skill, BB is virtually invincible. Just kidding, that's all in the past. You know an invincibility cheat is just shameful. This is a skill unnecessary for the beautiful and cute BB this time around. Oh, but you can use a little bit. See, like this. Self-modification EX, a skill that modifies the self- Within the Moon Cell's AI, there's a cardinal rule that forbids the implement of one's functions, but BB escapes such, uh constraints after she broke down and began expanding her own functions to upgrade her calculatory abilities she used her black static to capture and analyze npcs ais and even servants and used them to expand her memory ignoring the risk of self-destruction she expanded by adding more and more to herself as a result bb turned into an ultra grade ai with an expansive volume she is like a city built on a landfill that continues to add buildings even while sinking into the sea or perhaps Frankenstein's monster an AI that has gone rampant, causing Case Triple C. She was a supervising AI in the infirmary, but a bug in her command system for self-preservation went out of control. For some reason, she came to the conclusion that anything can be sacrificed if it means self-preservation. Sure, we'll go with that. Oh, great. Hmm. I can already see a sentence I don't like. Uh... She then became a continuously growing monster, absorbing NPCs, servants, and masters. She declared that she hates humans and dragged one master to the far side of the moon to torture. Her actions are normal to her, but from an objective standpoint, she's obviously insane. Within her own words, contradictions such as ex excessive love or a mixture of love and hate are easy to spot. But for a full explanation, the cause of those contradictions, you'll have to refer to Fate Extra Trip as C. Will you see, Type Moon? I would fucking love to. IF YOU FUCKING GIVE IT TO US! <clears throat> yes. Anyways, her luck parameter was the lowest rank E minus, but through efforts and self-sacrifice extreme enough to literally twist the world, it became EX. In other words, she once caused a miracle that only someone with EX ranked luck would have been able to achieve. When FGO Kiara and Triple C Kiara merged, the Moon Cell temporarily, temporarily made BB a servant as a countermeasure and sent her to the FGO universe. BB, as a user of Void Space, was best suited to subdue Car Kiara. Thus, while being a replica of the BB bug, BB was able to act within Seraphix as an autonomous cyber life form. The BB who appears in the FGO universe acts just like the little devil of the Triple C incident. But to her, it feels like the par particular experience happened tens of thousands of years ago. Additionally, she is aware that she is only able to be a servant in the FGO universe and does not exist in the original Triple C universe. She understands that she is a one-night-only illusion. I'm glad she does, because I sure as fuck don't. BB considers herself not so much a tool for humanity's salvation as a devil who sometimes leads humanity astray and sometimes helps them out. That's why it's futile to fall in love with me, okay? No matter how much you fall head over heels with BB, I'll never be caught, is what she says, looking smug. Sweet fucking Jesus Christ. Oh, God damn. その
ナース服に着替えないのみたいな顔はやめてください黒コートこそラスボス系後輩の証このクールさがわからないとかマスターさんでも豚にしちゃうんですからね I would love to see you try and watch every servant just fucking pile drive you afterwards もうこれ以上変化はないってわかってるのにこんなに素材を使ってくれたんですね私が言うのもなんですけどマスターさんちょっと人が良すぎですあんなにいじめたのに呆れずにいてくれるなんてはあこれでもう仲間あのですね勘違いしないでくれます私基本的に人間とか大嫌いですから上級 AI としてあなたたちをバカな人類を監視するためにここにいるんです、right. なかなかのバトルスコアですダメなマスターはダメダメなマスターなりに努力しているということですねまだまだ全然 BB ちゃんの理想には届きませんが今後も懲りずにあがいちゃってくださいマスターさん人間のくせに差別とか偏見とかないんですね頭おかしいんじゃないですかもっとこう火山みたいに感情的でアリのように小さな器量とか見せてくれてもいいんですよだってそうでないと嫌う理由がなくなっちゃうじゃないですか Sorry, it's hard to be a terrible person when you have no character. Kyo mo sento go no kaifuku. Arigato gozaimas. Sore ni amai mono mo yuzutte krete. Watashi no kobuts ga amai mono datte. Dare karo osiete mo ratta ndesu ka? Eh? Nanto naku wakatta? BB kente ikkyu? そうですか。三流マスターにしては、一丁前な観察眼ですね。こんな気難しい、oh、破綻した AI である私を、ここまで信用するなんて、こうなったら、とことんまでお世話します。ムーンキャンサーの名にかけて、あなたをカルデア一のマスターにしてみせましょう。なんて、しおらしく言うと思いました信頼度はマックスになっても BB ちゃんの意地悪度は変わらないのです<笑>私といる限り平穏な暮らしとかありませんからそのあたり覚悟してくださいねせんばい That is not at all how you spell what she just said That would be senpai What she said was se n Pie. She broke it apart, not extended it. God, do these people not know how to write? Ugh. Let's get to the last one. <laughs> 